Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL intro question that is asked in a PWC interview recently. Given as the employee details, we have employee ID, employee name and gender. If you look into the expected output, we need to find out the percentage of a gender. So how much percentage male employees are there? How much percentage female employees are there? If you count the gender here, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six male employees and uh, one, two, three, four, four female employees. So out of 10 records, we have six male employees and four female employees, which means 60% male employees and 40% female employees. So this is what we need to find out. So let's see how we can solve this. We have an employee table available with the employee ID, employee name and gender. We need to find out a gender percentage. This can be done by using a n number of is. One of the way I will be using is by using a case statement. So let's see how we can write a case statement here. So if it is a gender male, I will be assigning it as a one or else I will be assuming it as a zero. So this will give you gender male, wherever we have gender male, it will give one. So we have six times male. So it will give six ones. Maybe if I give sum on top of it, so we'll get a sum as a six. So wherever we have male, we are giving one. So six times male is available. So we'll get a sum as a six. And wherever we have female, we are giving else zero. So this sum will be zero. So with this case statement, we'll be getting a six and uh, we can divide this six with the, the overall count. So the overall count is 10. So there is a 10 records. So simply we can give here count star. So this will become six by 10, six divided by 10. So on top of this, maybe we can give 100 to get the percentage. So 100 into six divided by 10. So we will get a 60 as a percentage. This way you can assume it as a male percentage. Okay. In the same way, we can also find out a female percentage. Similar query we can use. Okay. So only thing we need to do here is gender is called female. So wherever we have female as a gender, we'll be assigning it as a one. And wherever we have male, we'll be assigning it as a zero. Female is available four times. So when you're performing a sum, we'll get a four. Four divided by total count, four divided by 10. And we're doing into multiplication of 100. So we'll get here 40. So this will take it as a female percentage. Let's execute this query now. Now you can see we are getting a male percentage as a 60 and female percentage as a 40. So this is the one of the way by using a case statement, we can achieve male and a female percentage. We can look into another approach by using a group by also we can achieve it. So let's see how we can do that. The other approach I will follow is by using a group by group by gender. So based on the gender, how much is a male percentage and how much is a female percentage we are going to find out. So we'll be using a group by gender. So whenever I'm performing a group by gender, what is the aggregation I'm using? So let's take a gender column align with the aggregation. Maybe I will take a count. So count of a gender. So this will give total. So total of a gender. So female total it will give uh, four and male male count it will give six so that will get uh, uh, from this aggregation four and six we also need to find out a gender percentage so what i will do is i will take a count of a gender so count of respect to gender for male the count will be six for female the count will be four so this count of gender i will do into 100 so which means for male, it will be 6 into 100, 600. For female, it will be 4 into 100, that is a 400. So this we need to divide it by total count. So total count we can simply take by using a select count star from a table. Okay, so from our table we can take. 
now how it works so for employee mail and the count is 6 6 into 100 600 divided by the overall count is 10 so you can see 10 records are there so 600 by 10 it will be a 60 that is a 60 percentage and similarly for the female employee so it will be 100 into count count is 4 400 so 400 divided by 10 will getting a 40 so in this way by using a group by we can also achieve the count so this i will take it as a gender percentage okay so we can execute this now see we are getting a gender grouping by gender female and male so first we are taking a count so count also we are getting female count is four male count is six and similarly we are finding a percentage as well female percentage is 40 and male percentage is 60. so in this way by using uh, these two approaches we can solve it in case if you have any other alternate approach please post in the comment box and don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet